and he comes back to life. And also, I like how if a life, if one of the bottles isn't entirely full when you use it, like it's your last one and you haven't been able to fill that one up yet since the last time you lost it or whatever, it'll restore that portion of your health. You know, it's not like, well, that sucks for you, it's not enough to revive you. No, you get brought back to life and you're there without your full health. And it's always a fitting amount for however full or empty the bottle is. And you don't have game over until you lose your last life bottle and then your last life. <clears throat> and you can save every time you've completed a level. Every time you're out of a level, you can save your game. And yeah, when, when you use a life bottle, you'll literally be put back to that exact spot. If you're just killed by, you know, someone attacking you, you'll just, you know, fall over, lay there, and you'll be, you'll have your life restored by the bottle, and you'll get back up. If you die from falling, it will magically pick you up and, like, carefully put you back down in the spot right before you jumped. It doesn't, you still have to do the jump. And, you know, he'll wake up. That's a very nice feature because there's, for example, one level where you have to be fighting these two flying, like, demons. Like, they, they sort of look like gargoyles come to life. I don't remember. They might actually be. And you have to run around, keep changing your sight. It also aims automatically, so that's very nice. And you can fairly clearly tell when you're aiming at something and what you're aiming at. There will be this, this, little, this little green thing, um, like a little glow right in front of your weapon and it'll go back and forth between your weapon and your target when you're aiming at something so you always know if you're gonna hit something if you you know press fire anyway you're on this square platform and sometimes it'll literally tip so you have to be standing in the middle and run in the opposite direction to not slide right back down off it into what seems to be a bottomless pit you also meet up with a couple of dragons, and one of them's, like, it. I, th I think it starts out, like, saying, how dare you wake me from my slumber, I'm gonna roast your meat off your bone, oh, I can't do that, I'm gonna pluck one of your eyes, oh, I'm gonna give you a good hiding. Literally, that's what he says, and he, like, tries to hide, and then occasionally he'll pop his head out, and shoot flames at you, and you have to um, use, uh, you also get a hammer, you have to use this hammer to make rocks fall onto its head, and it'll eventually say, okay, that hurts, stop that, I'll give you what you want. And you get this, um, this armor, this dragon armor, that enables you to walk through fire, which you need from one specific place, and you can breathe fire when you're wearing it. You can't, like, use a shield at the same time, or another weapon, but you don't have to be wearing it for a long time. This fire passage is like a barrier of fire, and once you're through it, you don't have to be wearing it anymore. You also meet up with, um, the, the ferryman on the river Styx, who's like, okay, I'm gonna take you to this other place that you want to go, provided you can get me, I think it's eight lost souls, and you have to find them in that level, and, and it's this big place of like tar pits and there are these really annoying enemies you know I think it's like dead knights like still in their armor who've you know who've died in the uh, the tar pits and now resurrected because of Zarek and they like bump into you and try to shove you into the tar which will of course kill you they're not too bad though, you can just, you, you know, you can shoot them or you can just try to lure them away from a place with a, with a lot of tar pits around. Zarek also put a spell on, like, the the townsfolk of Galmir, either to, like, minimize their resistance or just because he hates them. Um, I think that the backstory is, like, he's, he sees how happy they are and just takes them. And obviously, you know, they're not bad, so you can't kill them. So, in like in this one level, you have to avoid and avoid killing. It's like it's a little girl that runs around with this cute little giggle and this little axe, and she has to like jump to properly swing it. And it's just it's this mix of cute and hilarious and just wonderfully absurd. And then there's also um, 
the father who's got that might also be an axe or something like that and the mother who's running around with a pan going la 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 literally you know like as if she's just cooking or you know doing chores around the house and she'll smack you with this frying pan and like knock you out for a little bit and they'll do the, the cartoon um the, both the noise and the cartoon stars around you know above the head in a halo and you have to avoid killing them because there's this thing called the chalice and you have to fill it up with evil souls in order to collect the chalice it'll become whole when you you can find it before you can collect it sometimes and if you kill any innocent souls which I think can basically only happen that one level it'll take away from your collection of evil souls of course now if you do collect the chalice there's one in nearly every level there's a little bit more than 20 levels in the full game and there are 20 chalices in whole there's just two or three levels I think that don't have them and it kind of makes sense when there isn't one now if you do collect it you'll be allowed passage into the Hall of Heroes to talk to one and only one of the heroes there because they all have like these statues made in their honor a couple of times you can even choose which one you want to talk to because there there'll be like two maybe even three that you can talk to they'll be like lit up a little bit if you can talk to them and you stand in front of them and they'll offer you something and uh, sometimes only giving you like a hint of what it is and I think you can also turn it down I've never personally done this but I assume that if you do you can try to talk to one of the others I don't know and some of them give you weapons like um, I think that's where you get the hammer the guy is standing with his hammer uh, in this, and the first thing he offers you is his hammer, and then there's another guy, a, like a German guy, who's just very over-the-top German talking, um, you need mein shield, um, and, you know, he'll give you the golden shield, the, the most power, and you, of course, get the spear from the Queen of the Amazons, who else? And sometimes they'll give you um, a, an energy bottle, a couple of times you just get gold. The majority of them are very well worth it, and if you collect all the chalices, um, gradually there's a statue of you and it'll become less and less transparent and if you do collect all the chalices you get the good ending which means that he like he lays back down after slaying Zarek and the, the eye disappears into the socket and he then wakes up in the Hall of Heroes or maybe he's already whatever he's in the Hall of Heroes and he's partying with them and you know you did it he's now a hero the whole game has um, a lot of the humor is very dark. The the tone in general is like part horror. You know, it's it's a it's an action adventure game with some horror tone to it. You know, there are also a few RPG elements. And the setting is this gorgeous gothic, you know, medieval that kind of style and look. And that's another thing. The title medieval, you know halfway evil and also you know it's about the same word as medieval you know um, of the medieval I mean I'd say if Tim Burton ever d did a video game it would probably be medieval you also get to use magic straight out magic here and there there's like there's a there's a side quest that if you do complete it you get I think it's just called the drumstick or the chicken drumstick something like that if you throw it, you, you get 30. I don't know if you can get more. Every time you throw one, the enemy, now this may only work on the lower level enemies, will literally turn into a chicken. Like a fried chicken, a modern fried chicken. And you can just walk across, you know, like you would any other healing object, and it'll restore some of your health. Great sense of humor. At one point in the game, you freeze like this water thing and it's like this this bar, large round thing where you know if you fall into the water at first you'll you know drown and you'll you'll be picked back up uh, provided you have a, an energy bottle now after you find and activate these runes 